కుషోదయం ఛానల్ కు స్వాగతం రామాయణం పార్ట్ ఫోర్టీన్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎల్లో హిల్ టాప్ ఇన్ రాఖీ రీజన్ దాస్ ఫిల్డ్ విత్ కేవ్స్ అండ్ లేక్స్ అండ్ హెడ్ అండ్ సోర్సెస్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ ఎ గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ మంకీస్ వాచ్ ద ప్రిన్సెస్ ఎంటర్ దర్ లాండ్స్ హూ కెన్ దే బీ దెట్ టు ఈచ్ హదర్ దెట్ టు ఈచ్ హదర్ దే ఆర్ అర్న్ లైక్ వారియర్స్ బట్ ద వీఆర్ ద క్లోజ్ ఆఫ్ ఆస్కెటిక్స్ So Griva was the leader of the small band that had made its home of on the Rishimuka mountain. His most trusted companion was Hanuman, son of Vayu, the wind god. Go and find out who they are and what they want, Hanuman. So Griva said to him, we, don't, we do not see men like this here. In a blink of an eye, moving faster than thought, Hanuman had leapt off the mountain off the mountain and was standing before Rama and Lakshmana. He bowed to them and said, I am Hanuman, son of wind. I, my master is Sugriva and we live there, on the Rishamukha mountain. Who are you and what brings you here to Kishkinda, land of the monkeys? Rama looked at, the, looked at Hanuman and saw a monkey, brave and tall and fearless. I am Rama. princess of ayodhya and the son of dashavata this is my brother lakshmana my wife has been abducted by ravana king of the rakshasas we seek the help of your master sugriva can you take us to him rama lifted the princess onto his shoulders and bounded uh, across the rocks and up the steep slope of rishyamukha setting them down in front of sugriva he introduced rama and sugriva to each other and then stood back very and watchful along with lakshmana i have been sent to you sugriva i was told that you can help me find my wife who has been stolen by the king of the rakshasas tell me will you be my ally said rama bluntly not wanting to waste any time prince of ayodhya we can make a pact said sugriva shrewdly help me and i will help you anything you ask said rama well very well said sugriva offering rama a seat made of grass I live here on this forsaken mountain with my few followers because of my brother Vali exiled me from the kingdom of Kishkinda. Listen and I will tell you my story. My older brother Vali ruled all the monkeys of his of this great land from the city of Kishkinda. One day a terrible demon arrived at the at our city gates and challenged Vali to fight. They fought long and hard over days. Their combat took o- them over hills and into valleys, across lakes and rivers and into caves. I was afraid for my brother and I followed him, hoping that I could be of help. After a while, Valley and the demon descended into a huge cave. I stood outside, waiting. After many days, I heard a ja- ghastly scream and blood began to pour out of the cave right beneath my feet. I was sure that my brother had been killed and I moved back. a huge rock over the entrance of the cave to trap that horrible monster so that he would not emerge and harm our people i ran back to our city and told everyone what had happened i was weeping and exhausted my heart broken because i was sure that my brother had been killed the monkey ministers and citizens installed me as a king in valley's place and i ruled for a while but then one day valley reappeared he accused me of trying to kill him like closing of the cave's entrance he said that i had taken the kingdom from him and as a younger brother i had no right to rule when he was still alive nothing i said could persuade him otherwise he even took my wife before he banished me from kishkinda these few loyal monkeys came with me knowing the truth of my deeds or my thoughts and my deeds help me get my kingdom and my wife back kill valley and i will summon hundreds and thousands of mighty monkeys and bears to find your wife they will go to the four corners of earth and will not rest until they have found her then we shall make a great army and bring her back what do you say rama rama did not hesitate and held out of his hands let fire be the witness to our eternal friendship said griva i will do as you ask in return for your help but how do i know that you are valley's equal What if he's great for if he's a greater warrior than you after all you are hanum you are a human and valley's father is indra the king of the gods said sugriva rama said nothing but drew his bow and pulled a sure and sharp 
arrow from his quiver. The f arrow flew through the air, silent as bread. It pierced through a row of seven solid trees, one after the other, and returned to Rama, who caught it in one hand. So Grilla bowed and tossed Rama's feet. Forgive me for that, in you, Rama. It is I who shall be privileged to be your ally. Call Wally at tomorrow. Tell him you want to fight with him. I shall hide behind the tree 